think Giancarlo Fisichella timed it perfectly right there on Wolf Hensler's bumper. Now Ferrari has speed down these straightaways. Wolf is going to defend to the inside. Watch for the BMWs to try and sneak down the inside as well. Edwards defends from Orbelin here Orbelin, for the third yeah. spot. Look yep. at the Vipers, they're right in the mix. Corvette's coming back into the frame. Tire temp's not up. There's going to be some rubber on those tires that's not off yet. Dane Cameron's around. all over the back of one of the factory Porsches, a GTLM machine. He needs him to go. I've got GTD cars behind me. you got to go. Even a quicker car that should be a quicker car might not be at this configuration right there now. There it is, right there. Look at yeah. Balzan using all of the curb there, coming through four, trying to chase down that BMW. Cameron, Balzan, Andrew Davis, Lee Keen, and Christopher Hasse. The top five in GTD as the GTLM field goes through the uphill S's. Well, Hensler able to gap the Ferrari. Yeah, his car has come alive, so those Falcon tires are really working well. Fisichella, though, has shown tremendous speed. That car has been really quick here today. Oh, and he's wide. Oh. Fisichella's wide. He's in the gray there, Dorsey. Didn't get the launch. He wanted to that lap for sure. Is he going to fall prey to the BMW? Probably not because of straightaway speed. Yeah, that Ferrari can scoot. Yeah, a little mistake there by Fisichella. Maybe he just didn't have the tires cleaned off enough or up to the the optimum temperature, but he didn't get turned in for Oak Tree correctly. Saves Wolf, a time. Saves Wolf Hensler for this lap, though. Aboard the 62, looking ahead at Hensler. A little team that could, the Falcon Tire Boys, based out of the Indianapolis area. The only RSR 911 Porsche in private hands in the series. The other cars are factory supported. These guys are going their own way. But they've shown tremendous pace on occasion. Look at that, he's got to defend. Visicala looks to the inside. This is going to be tight. Oh, wow. Awesome action. Oh, he's oh, wide. He's he's wide. <laughs> that opens the door. Here we go. Wolfie boy putting it on the line. Fought him off that oh, one. Oh, man. Two great pro drivers. Clean but mean. You are digging deep. Fisichella got his first win, of course, but he didn't take the car to the checkered flag. He'd love to do that here today. And now here comes Edwards and Oberlin and the twin BMWs. Fisichella loose there, coming off four and five. That was the curb tripped him up a little bit there. They go thundering past our announced position. Up what a past. ride through there, Bob. That is amazing through the S's. 150 miles an hour. Oak Tree Corner again, that tricky double right-hander. Wolf cannot drag a brake. Oh, Fisichella's in trouble again. He locks the brakes yeah. there in Oak Tree. Doesn't have the car underneath him right now. He's going wide every time. It's hurting him on Wolf, but he's all right with the BMWs because of speed down the straight. Question mark still remember on Wolf Hensler. Does he have enough fuel on board? That's a big question mark. What do we think? Another lap before the white flag? We'll have two more laps to go. That's my guess. This would be a huge win for that team if they could pull this off. Oh, you betcha. Well, the Ferrari draws close again. Got a good launch yeah, off the does. final corner. Wolfie's got to stay right. He's got to stay right. Don't open that door. Sportsmanship flag. For uh -oh. whom? For Will Fensler, I think, in terms of when he closed the door on Giancarlo down into turn one, same spot. I he like had to make that move a little bit earlier. I think he reacted to Giancarlo, and that's what the stewards don't like. Well, they'll give you that warning, so he's all right yeah. still. I mean, he's had the warning, though, so he's got to play it tight now. Yep. BMW sitting there just praying in both <laughs> senses of the word in terms of whether they can get that win. Oh, Orbelin's wide. Orbelin's really wide under pressure from the Viper. The 93 car. That's Jonathan Bomberito. Does he have a shot? When you Fine. get wide doors, so you pick up those marbles, you yeah. certainly don't have grip for at least two or three more corners. Now, it's not bad enough you made the mistake, but you pay for it even after you're off the corner safely. And these Vipers are fast this weekend. Boy, oh boy, they are bad fast. There's one thing committing to these S's when you've got no one in front of you. But when you got a car directly in front, you can't see your turning points, and you're just sort of like leading the car through there based on the car right in front of you. Dorsey. Good run really that time. Yeah. Giancarlo got through clean. Let's see what happens. I think the car's coming back into its sweet spot. 94, meanwhile, heading up the GT Daytona Brigade. Here's Balzan in the Ferrari. Looks like Hasser has got around. Lee Keen, Haas is up to four. Yeah, That's huge uh, in the championship. Davis runs third, Hasser fourth. 
Townsend Bell, championship leader coming in, still sits in the eighth spot. No more progress for him in this late charge. Oh, uh, one more lap of fuel. Do you have it or not? <laughs> They will have to find out. Wolf is going to drive down the right-hand side of the road. This is going to be side-by-side side down into Turn 1 as Brian Sellers looks on. <laughs> you can tell by his body language. White flag, Wolf. White flag. It's a white knuckle ride. Oh, one here comes left. the Ferrari. Here he comes. He flicks right to the outside. outside. He's got a nose on him now. They cannot touch. Oh, he wants to stay right there until we get to the left-hander. Wolf, he's got to wash it out. He, does have, he has to take that line away. Perfect job by Wolf Henslin. Oh, Giancarlo looks to the inside and touches him. He, he hits him. Up. Edwards is right there. He can take advantage if these two guys Keep have going. contact. Edwards is right there for sure. Just tried to disrupt the car's momentum a little bit. Edwards and Mueller looking for their first win of the season. Awesome stuff here at VIR. What a racetrack. Watch Oak Tree. Watch Oak Tree. It's pivotable now. Here comes the big bump first on the uphill S's. Fissy Keller putting it all on the line, looking for two in a row for the season and two in a row here at VIR. You gotta get this corner perfect, 100% clean. Don't spin the tires. Here we go. Don't lock the brake. What's that BMW? He's coming, he's coming he hard, but he doesn't have the straightaway speed. Fissy Keller's better go on Sam for sure. Oh, look. Now we got the back and forth across the straightaway, trying to break the draft. Wolf's got to stay inside from this point on. He can't weave. This is going to be tight. Here comes the Ferrari looking for the lead. Fissy Keller looks for the lead. Fissy he Keller's takes Hensler. Got a left handed coming up. He got him. What a move. Can he hang on here for the last oh, turn? Oh, oh, Hensler oh, knocks oh. up. That seals the deal right there. There's no way he's going to get back around the Ferrari. Can he hold off the BMW You're for a second? Here. Final corner onto the front straightaway. For the second straight race, Risi Competizione, Ferrari, Pierre Kaffer, and Giancarlo Fisichella win GTLM at VIR. And a great job by the Falcon Tire guys. And here comes Dane Cameron, who shared with Marcus Paltala of Finland. The fin started, Cameron finishes. Victory job, for Turner Motorsports for the fourth time this year.